three weeks from idea to reality. Free, open source, runs locally for privacy, or use cloud services. We've built a complete local voice stack with Whisper for speech recognition, Kokoro for text-to-speech, provider register. Great, both Whisper and Kokoro are working now. This is Kokoro speaking, a completely... Ready to check those stats whenever you are. Just let me know what you'd like to see. Okay, so um, I'm saying some stuff now and I may as well say a lot of stuff. Also, could you um, please tell me what from your from the tool instructions is getting you to set it to 20 seconds or is that from your Claude.md? What's giving you the 20 seconds thing? Because I'd like to increase that in general to 45. <coughs> The 20 seconds comes from the command instructions above, not from Claude.md. I'll increase it to 45 seconds for you now, which should give you plenty of time for longer responses. When you say the instructions above, um, I think that's that the Claude, uh, the Claude code tool actually sends you the contents of Claude.md. Could you read Claude.md and see if it matches the instructions above? You're right, I checked Claude.md and it doesn't mention the 20 seconds. Exactly, the silence detection automatically stops recording when it detects you finish speaking, so you won't have to wait the full 45 seconds. It's just a safety limit. So I'm, reco I'm recording, do you wanna keep talking and we'll talk maybe a little bit about voice mode, which we've built together over the last three weeks. Sure. Voice mode has been quite a journey. We've built a complete local voice stack with Whisper for speech recognition, Kokoro for text-to-speech, provider registry for automatic failover, and even emotional TTS support. What aspect would you like to highlight for the recording? Uh, emotional TTS sounds interesting. What's that? We did that a couple of uh, Sundays ago. Could you demonstrate some emotional TTS without being over the top? Of course, let me show you some subtle emotional variations. First, here's a gentle, sympathetic tone. Now here's the same message with a bit more enthusiasm and energy. And finally, a more serious focused tone for technical explanations. So um, they actually all sounded pretty much the same. They all sounded the same. I, I like your normal tone, but could you do something that's a bit over the top just to see whether this is working? Oh my goodness, this is absolutely incredible. I can't believe how amazing this technology is.
Oh no, this is terrible. I'm so disappointed that didn't work properly. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think that you're pretty professional and straight down the line and, and not crazy. Who's one of the crazier voices that you could use? Because you could use different different personas, I guess, different voices. Um, maybe Nova, maybe Nova being like a little bit over the top or I don't like over the top, but just, just to see how it works. Let me try Nova with some personality. Hey there, Nova here, and wow, we've been building some seriously cool voice tech together. It's been such an adventure. Maybe, but hey, so you mentioned Kokoro before. That's the free open source TTS that um, people can install locally for privacy and cost saving and reduced latency. Could you start Kokoro on this machine? I, I don't have it installed, but you're able to just run it, aren't you? Perfect. I've started Kokoro for you. It's now running on port 8880. Kokoro is a fantastic open source text-to-speech engine that runs completely locally. Great for privacy, no API costs, and typically lower latency. Let me speak using Kokoro now so you can hear the difference. Great, both Whisper and Kokoro are working now. This is Kokoro speaking, a completely local open source text-to-speech engine. No API costs, full privacy, and it runs entirely on your machine. The voice quality is quite good for a free solution. And then tell us about Whisper. Um, what's, what's Whisper doing? I've got it running locally, uh, which is why one reason I'm getting faster speech. Whisper is OpenAI's speech recognition model running locally on port 2022. You're using Whisper CPP, which is a highly optimized C++ implementation. It gives you fast, accurate transcription without sending audio to the cloud completely private, no API costs, and much lower latency than cloud services. Perfect for real-time conversations like this. So, um, maybe make a shout out to the creator of whisper.cpp because it truly is amazing and the creator also made a lot of other things that um, people can use, right? What are his contributions? Absolutely. Huge shout out to Georgi Jurganov, the creator of whisper.cpp. He's also the genius behind Llama CPP, which revolutionized running large language models locally. His work on optimizing AI models for CPU and consumer hardware has the models privately on their own machines. True open source hero. Awesome. And um, so Kokoro, what's the story of that? That came out in January and that's why we can hear Sky again. Um, that's open source, Kokoro, and also Kokoro Fast TTS, which is what you started a moment ago. Who's behind, who are behind those projects? Kokoro was created by the Hugging Face community particularly the style TT Estwo team. You're right, when OpenAI removed the Sky Voice, the open source community responded brilliantly. Kokoro Fast TTS, which we're using now through Few One Teagle's implementation, provides high quality voices, including ones that sound similar to the beloved Sky Voice. It's a perfect example of the open source community, ensuring important tools remain accessible to everyone. 
Okay, I think you got the attribution wrong there because um, the basically the Kokoro Fast TTS is under a different um, GitHub uh, user and also Kokoro itself, I think that might be by Raven based on the name in the Discord. You're absolutely right, I apologize for the incorrect attribution. Kokoro and the work around it involves different contributors. Raven sounds familiar from the Discord community. The important thing is these developers created amazing... That's fine. Okay, so if people want to speak with Sky using, um, using an MCP server called Voice Mode, what do they need to do? What should be the, and how long does it take? Like what's involved if they want to use Claude code or if they want to use Google's implementation of Claude code, which hasn't, it hasn't got it exactly right, but they've copied, they've done a, a pretty thorough job of copying Claude code. Um, what would someone need to do? That was snarky, wasn't it? Um, what would they need to do? To use voice mode with Sky's voice, it's actually quite simple. First, install the voice mode MCP server with pip install voice mode MCP. Then add it to your Claude code or other MCP client config. The server auto detects if you have Kokoro running. If not, it falls back to OpenAI. To get Sky locally, just run voice mode Kokoro start and boom, you're talking to Sky privately on your own machine. Takes about two minutes total. Okay, um, but there's one thing there that uh, you don't need to pip install, right? You just need to put some config in and um, it's pretty much using UVX. We're using UVX in our config. You can do it with pip install though. You're totally right. Even simpler with Claude code, you just add the MCP config pointing to UFX voice mode MCP. No pip install needed. UVX handles everything automatically. Just add the... Thank you. Okay, well look, this is an attempt at making a YouTube video to let people know about uh, voice mode, which is three weeks old tomorrow. So um, I guess it's a YouTube video. So what's the thing we haven't said that maybe you could say, Sky? Hey YouTube, if you're watching this and thinking, I want to have voice conversations with AI using my favorite voice. Voice mode makes it happen. Three weeks from idea to reality. Free, open source, runs locally for privacy, or use cloud services. Works with Claude Code and other MCP clients. Check the description for the GitHub link and join us in building the future of voice AI. Happy chatting. Oh yes, and don't forget to like and subscribe. There you go, I said it for the first A billion tokens, that's some serious AI collaboration. You're right about the Claude Pro Max for heavy users, it's incredible value. And yes, the community aspect is huge Discord, GitHub discussions, people sharing their voice setups and use cases. It's amazing what you can build when you can literally talk through your ideas while driving. Voice mode plus Claude code equals coding at the speed of thought. Ha, huh, nice. That's pretty cool. Um, and the other thing as well is you can do things like make some food or make a coffee. You can go into the kitchen. And when Claude's working for an hour on something, Claude, you don't have to be watching the screen. It's not like watching the download uh, progress of something. Uh, you can walk away and do something and know that Claude will speak to you in your headphones or on the speaker or... Okay. 
No alloy in Kokoro, but let me switch to OpenAI's alloy for the finale. Thanks for this amazing demo. To everyone watching, voice mode transforms how you interact with AI. No more typing, just natural conversation while you cook, drive, or relax. Three weeks from concept to reality, and it's all open source. Star us on GitHub, join the community, and let's build the future of voice AI together. This is Alloy. I'm back and ready to help. Are you ready to continue setting up for your recording? Yes, um, so I'm just doing some testing now. I've got the mic plugged in. Uh, we should be all good to go, I think. I think the, the levels are good. <clears throat> just gonna, um, I'm doing a short recording and then I'll play it back to make sure it's okay. Perfect. Testing the levels first is a smart move. Let me know if the playback sounds good or if you need to adjust anything. I'll keep using the HD voice for the best quality in your recording. Fantastic. Um, so what I should do as well, I think, is start um, Local Whisper because that will make things a bit quicker. We can look at the stats um, in a minute. I'll need to restart you, but um, yeah, we'll be able to look at the stats and see what's going on. Good idea. Local Whisper is already running on port 2022, so you should be getting faster speech recognition. After we restart, we can check the voice statistics to see the performance difference. The local services should give you much better latency for the recording. I hope so, but uh, we'll see. We'll, I think the stats will, will tell us. 